Hey guys, it's Future Sarah here again in editing. Uh, I realized when I was making these videos originally that the combination of hybrid and integrate videos together was just going to be such a huge video and I wanted to separate them. Uh, instead of having hybrids and integrates in one video, I separated them into two. So this is the second one. This is the hybrid video and uh, the first one was the integrate video. I'll link it above for you guys to go check that out if you haven't seen it. I did also want to mention that uh, I realized in editing that it was a little bit confusing. So so um, whenever I put collages of snakes up on the screen, if you see um, like two snakes next to each other and then uh, one snake maybe above or to the side, those are the two that are like next to each other are the individual species and then the one off to the side or at the bottom is going to be the combination of those two species. And if you see uh, like two at the end with one in the middle, the ones at the ends are going to be the individual species and the one in the middle is going to be your hybrid. Because uh, I'll be, like I said, putting a lot of photos up on the screen for you guys and I just want to make sure that it's pretty clear uh, for everybody to understand what is what you're actually looking at so um, I hope you enjoy this video thanks for watching this group in particular is the they're no longer under the pantherophis umbrella these are going to be uh, the patufus umbrella which I think is a hilarious word when was the last time you said patufus seriously um, these are going to be your gopher bull and pine snakes now um, the Gopher and bull snake uh, are really, really closely related. Uh, they're very similar to your corn snake and emery These three, though, specifically, are almost, they're about as closely related to each other as, you know, like your gray, black, Gray, uh, gray rat snake and black rat snake are they're very very closely related um so when you breed them with a corn snake you're gonna get a lot of very similar looking results uh, my personal favorite is the gopher corn snake cross uh and that is called the turbo corn uh if you look up photos of the turbo corn it just kind of looks like a big angry corn snake uh and it's going to be the same way if you're thinking about the uh, bull cross or the pine cross uh they're not very common but they are a little bit easier to produce than something like the corn snake king snake mix uh but not quite as easy as if you were trying to breed a corn snake with a uh, emery's rat snake so those are just, that's just another sort of interesting little subcategory there of, they're not integrates, but they're, um, they're not like extreme hybrids, I would say. They're hybrids, but they're not like super, super far away unrelated hybrids. And now we're on to the interesting ones, uh, the sort of what I would call extreme hybrids, and that's going to be breeding corn snakes with any kind of milk snake or any kind of king snake. Uh, king snakes and milk snakes, generally speaking, are relatively closely related to each other, but pretty far away from corn snakes as far as how they're related. Um, and one big issue that you run into when trying to make this hybrid is that the uh, milk snakes and king snakes really want to eat the corn snakes. Uh, so you have to be really careful. Uh, if you're a breeder and you're wanting to breed any of these, first of all, I'm sorry, I don't have any advice for you. I do not breed hybrids. I have owned a few as pets, but uh, I will not be able to tell you how to breed them other than a few little things that I've read here and there. Uh, and that is, generally speaking, if you want to breed hybrids, you should probably have a pair of both species. Uh, and they should all be sort of out of brumation at the same time if you want to breed them uh, so that they uh, are emitting pheromones at the same time and you can kind of trick them into breeding with each other. Uh, and that's pretty much how you have to do it if you're breeding corn snakes with either king snakes or milk snakes. They're far enough apart that they don't sort of read any of each other's breeding signals as well. Uh, and so it's just going to be more difficult to do. Uh, it's not impossible, obviously. There are out there. It's just not super easy to do. Uh, one thing that's interesting about any of these hybrids though, the integrates um, and even up to the extreme hybrids is the offspring are still fertile um, in, in any of these instances. The main reason why that is so interesting is because when you have hybrids of other species, uh, especially when they're mammals, the offspring will be infertile. So, I mean, obviously one of the more common ones is between a horse and a donkey. Uh, and they, they just aren't fertile. Uh, they cannot have any babies. Uh, so you get a nice cute little mix, but you're not going to be able to breed that mix with anything else uh, and, pro and produce anything. They just simply are not fertile. Whereas if you breed a corn snake with a king snake, 
those offspring are going to be fertile. Uh, and if you bring a breed of corn snake with a gopher snake, those offspring will be fertile. And it's the same with pretty much any of these snake species. In fact, you can breed uh, different types of king snakes together. You can breed different types of, uh, you can breed a king with a milk. You can breed pretty much any of these things that I've mentioned could potentially be bred together and produce fertile offspring. We'll start with the most common uh, corn snake cross with these sort of more extreme hybrids, and that is your corn snake mixed with the California king snake. That's going to be your most common. It's called just your typical jungle corn. Some people will put a K at the beginning of corn to indicate like a king snake uh, is in there. Um, and some people will also say like California jungle, something like that, because when you mix a corn snake with other types of king snakes, which does happen, uh, they are going to also be called jungles, but just different kinds of jungles. So uh, if you try to breed with a Florida king snake, that's a Florida jungle. If you try to breed with a Mexican black king snake, uh, that's going to be a Mexican black jungle. Uh, if you, you know, anything like that, uh, they're going to be called jungles. Uh, if they are mixed, so if those offspring, those F1 offspring, are mixed back into a corn snake, which is possible, they, they are called super corns. If they are mixed back into king snakes again, they're called lesser corns, uh, which makes sense. You have a little extra corn snake versus a, a little, you know, less corn snake. So we have super corns, which is a little bit more corn, uh, and then lesser corns, which are a little bit more king. Uh, that's that's just sort of your uh, more common terms for them. Sort of like how we would say creamsicle. Uh, we would we have that term jungle for the corn snake king snake mix uh, and you can mix corn snakes with a lot of different kinds of king snakes i've seen them with variable king snakes i have seen them with uh, as i mentioned florida king snakes i have seen them with uh, your gray banded king snakes um, which is a little less common, but I started to see those here recently. I've seen them with, um, you know, Mexican black kings, speckled kings. I've seen them with a lot of different, different types of king snakes. Uh, and then the next category, of course, is very similar, mixing them with milk snakes. Uh, you can mix them with any kind of milk snake, uh, Honduran milk snakes, um, Pueblan milk snakes, pretty much any kind of milk snake as well could be mixed in with corn snakes. Uh, now I did mention the Eastern milk snake earlier. Uh, most people don't really breed the Eastern milk with corn snakes, but that's mostly because Eastern milks kind of look like corn snakes anyway. Uh, so you're not going to get like a super cool hybrid out of those, but it has happened. It can happen. Um, they just, just look like more, they look too much like corn snakes. Uh, one big thing that a lot of responsible hybrid breeders will do, especially when you're breeding these more um, very distantly related uh, animals, so anything that's pretty much outside of that Pantherophis genus, is they will make sure to not breed anything that looks too corn snake. Uh, so if you have like you know, an F4 or an F5 that's been bred back into a corn snake and back into a corn snake, and maybe it's only 10% king snake. Um, a lot of really responsible hybrid breeders just will not continue to breed them back in just for the sake of, of muddying the lines um, and making it confusing. The, the main purpose of breeding a lot of these more extreme hybrids is to have something that's cool and unique and different. Uh, the purpose is not to create something that has king snake blood that just looks like a corn snake or or to have something that has corn snake blood and just looks like a king snake or whatever. The purpose is to have really cool mixture of different patterns and colors and things like that. Um, and to have something that's unique, not something to have something, not to have something that looks like everything else. Uh, so I would highly recommend if you are a hybrid breeder, or if you want to become a hybrid breeder, uh, or if you are looking for hybrid breeders, to to just either you know be responsible or buy from someone who's responsible. Uh, there's a lot of hybrid breeders that you can find on Facebook groups. I'm in a group called Kalu Hybrids, which is basically a colubrid hybrids. Um, there's also a group called Hybrid Colubrids, I believe. Uh, unfortunately, in the sort of uh, Facebook, uh, I don't want to call it an adpocalypse, but it, it kind of was, a lot of groups got deleted uh, that were selling animals. So a lot of the 
big, a lot of the bigger groups that even had hybrid uh, conversations were removed. Uh, so you're not going to find as many as you could before, but there are still a few. Uh, so like I said, Kalu hybrids is one of them. And I believe there is still one called hybrid colubrids. So you can go in there and you can find a whole lot of different photos and a lot of different breeders, probably get advice and stuff like that. Uh, if this is something that you're interested in getting into or interested in purchasing, I, I cannot say that I, I necessarily recommend too many people except, um, Rhinos, Reptiles, and Rodents is probably one of my favorite hybrid breeders. I think that he has a lot of variety. He's in the U.S. Uh, I've purchased a lot from him. Uh, he doesn't put up with BS, so um, if you're wanting to buy something from him, you need to know what you want and be willing to put money down. That's that's sort of the name of the game with a lot of people, um, and especially when you're producing as many snakes as he is. He doesn't, he doesn't have time for people who are tire kickers, and it is what it is. I understand that sentiment. I tend to spend more time on my customers than him, but that does not make him a bad person. I think he's a great person. So if you are looking at buying a hybrid, he's the person that I would recommend going to. Um, and I think that that's pretty much it. That's all I want to go over in this video. It's already a lot longer than I wanted it to be, which I'm sorry about, but this was a video that has been requested many, many times, and um, I may have forgotten or missed a hybrid here and there. If I did, feel free to remind me and uh, I might make like another another hybrid video in the future that goes over ones that I did not go over in this video. Uh, this video like I said was kind of to replace an older video that I did that did not have photos of any of these in it really I just would pick up my book and show it to the camera and say this is kind of what it looks like uh, but with the new software that I have I'm actually able to show you guys what these look like and um, I also kind of went into a little bit more detail about a lot of these than I did in the last video as well. So I hope that it helped. And uh, if there are any that you would like more specific, detailed sort of hybrid deep dives on, I am more than happy to do that. Uh, a lot of people specifically want to know, you know, what are the hybrid markers for a corn snake milk snake cross? What are the hybrid markers for uh, a black snake? Uh, black rat snake corn snake cross what are those what are these hybrid markers what do i look for with this uh, and i'm happy to do a video on those markers i'm just not doing them not doing it right now if that is a video that you want let me know down in the comments and i might do that in the future um thank you for watching i'm gonna go ahead and end this video uh subscribe website snakes merch all that stuff thank you again i'll see you in the next video